How long have you been in paintball? <laughs> 30 years for me. 30 years. You've been, what, 20? Uh, yeah, 93. 93, mm. 90, end of 93, 94. That's yeah. playing, that's refing, that's working it. Mates asked, you want to come down, have a, have a shoot, have a play? That was in early days with uh, pumps, pump pistols in New Zealand. 12 grams to... 12 grams and pumps. Yep. Yeah, what yeah, about PGPs? The, yeah, PGPs. And then we went to Constant Air. Whew. Yeah, but uh, yeah. Pity days. Yeah. First shot was always a. <laughs> after that, 15 shots, 20. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Single tubes. The whole Single tube, tubes. Oh, the yeah. tubes, you know, with, yeah, the green, yeah. with the green lids. Yep. Yeah, we had like a bandana around your wrist or whatever. You pull yeah. the tube out. How many were in there? Like 12? 10. 10, was it? 10, Ten. in the tubes. I didn't start off refereeing, I started off playing, um, just like most uh, normal people. Went out with some mates, a uh, bunch of us liked it so much that we kept on coming back and then uh, we played regularly at the field, just punter ball and um, yeah, we went there regularly and then we met up with some other people and they were doing it regularly and then so we just kept on coming back, kept on coming back and then some uh, and some players uh, came into the field, and, and uh, which was their kind of home field, or that's where the company was. And um, yeah, and they picked us up, and we got straight into a team. Uh, Black Rain. <laughs> Rock on. Thanks, Black yep. Rain. What well, made you decide to become a ref, Jill? Mm. Back injury. Mm. Used to be able to play for about five minutes and hardly walk. And people used to cringe a little bit as I was playing. Yeah. Remember those days? Or drag my legs as I was, yeah. I was running? Yeah. That was back in, um, when was the last time I played? Oof. 2004. So we were already refing by then. Mm. It was just after we started the Apex at, um, we had an Apex at Mount White. Oh, yeah. You guys were refing that. Yeah. Junk our dogs. Yeah, that was um, 2000. Yeah, it was early. Somewhere around there. So it was like, oh, ref all day and hardly walk or? Play, play for five minutes and hardly walk, and so it ended up just reffing more and just kept going. And now, what's well, ref sinks now? What, twelve years? Did we work it out the other day? Twelve yeah. years. Was it 2005? Was the yeah, first one? around 2005, first one. Yeah, so mm. it's been going for a while. Going for a while. Yeah, I think uh, I think in the 90s there was a there was a whole bunch of. Uh, refereeing going on from the players. There were some teams, you'd, um, some tournaments you'd turn up to and um, there was an expectation that... Um, yeah, you know, peer, uh, peer refing? Was yeah, it? yeah, yeah team it was, refing. It was yeah. team refing. So, yeah. you know, like there were some, you know, smaller tournaments you'd get uh, a team that was playing in the tournament and they would ref a game or a couple of games. Or you go to a tournament and uh, the team uh, whose home field it yeah, was. local team refing, yeah. They tend to ref, you know, so like, um, so we're here in South Australia in Strathalbyn at the moment, so uh, if you'd come here um, back in those days, it would have been uh, one of the... Um, one Fusion. Of the Fusion. Yeah, they have, what, three teams? Yeah, yeah. chaos and, yeah, and stuff chaos like that. Balls, they they yeah. would have they would yeah. have been refing it in, in yeah. those days as well, so... Um, or, you know, uh, even way, way, way back, um, hardline and stuff, you know, from, yeah. the, from the early 90s, mid-90s. Um, yeah, so like you, you you got into refing a little bit that way back in those days, uh, but um, yeah, it became, when it yeah. when it became when it became a necessity a to necessity, have neutral yeah. referees that know what they're doing. That's right. Know the rules. Mm. So it so got it got pretty yeah. serious around Apex. I think it was, yeah. was pretty serious. We didn't uh, we didn't we didn't really play the first season of Apex. Yeah, well, you, we you we you may have played that basically the first season. Yeah, we may have played one, um, yeah. but we mostly refed it. Um, because uh, we needed to, not needed to, but we wanted to support Alex yeah. in the, in yeah, that and, the um, series, yeah. and, to, and do the right thing. And we um, tried to, you know, make sure the rules in, in that yeah. series were right and um, 
and pretty succinct. Mm. What's your favourite aspect of your role, Jill? Your role? Oh. Well, I have to answer the question first. Because um, I'm up. Because I'm. Yeah, you're asking. I'm reading them now. <laughs> um, you're losing them too. Mm. I think. Uh, it's the main aim, I suppose, as well as being, giving, trying to give people a level playing field mm. so that when they come out at play, they know how it is, how they're going to be treated, treat everyone the same, yep. fairly, and um, be as consistent as possible. So yeah. that it's good for them. Yeah, I agree with you. I think that's the, that's the best aspect of um, being a referee, for me, just as in being a referee, um, is giving the opportunity for the players just to be able to play paintball and fair paintball. Yeah. Um, I think so. it's a challenge too to get it right, to be in that right position, to be oh. able to make the call. Yeah. Like, hey, we can't do it 100% of the time, but to try and be yeah. in that position to make that call at the right time yeah. so that guy doesn't play on mm. to make it fair. Yeah, for sure. The, 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 the skill to it um, and the physicality and so forth is certainly an mm. enjoyable part. Um, in the, and in the aspect in my role, I kind of take that a little bit deeper as well. So with the inside ref sync, you know, there's a certain as you know, there's certain roles that we play uh, within ref sync, and um, and I like those aspects as well because you get to um, help teach people, help. bring them through, um, you know, teach people new skills and so forth as well. Mm. From um, yeah. so you know, you get to after the tournament, you get an opportunity to look at some of those uh, lesser experienced players and, and help them out and say, yeah. okay, you know, we see a bit of paintball and we notice this and, yeah. Yep. You've had a few years of it. <laughs> yeah, too. Uh, what's the biggest challenge to being a paintball referee? Well, that comes down to the same thing, being in the right place at the right time. Yeah. Reading the play. Yep. Being able to go, right, that guy's going to go, body language, mm. things like that. Dealing with people that are extremely passionate about what they're doing. Yes. And trying and to keep it's people to calm. And, it's, good, yeah. it's, good to, it's good to see the passion in the sport and everything. Um, but sometimes that passion tends to run away. Um, mm. And people um, may not be self-aware as much, I guess, uh, when they are wrapped up in that passion. And that's challenging to deal oh, with because yeah. uh, you can see it in their eyes a lot of time. They don't mean what they do or what they mm. say um, and you know that once they're out of that emotional state uh, you can sit down and you know have a, a great talk with them and have a chit chat and, yeah. uh, and everything's fine um, oh. but yeah that is, there is there is a that is a, a difficult part uh, that, yeah. I was going to say the, the interpersonal yeah. part but, is, yeah. is certainly a challenge at times um, yeah Good and, and oh, uh, hey, the it's weather. The weather, the weather can be a challenge. Two degrees. Brr, two degrees. Aussie's from morning. Darwin at the moment. Two, two degrees, degrees today. <laughs> I don't know what two degrees is. Yeah. Over there. That's the... It's a little bit windy in Strath here, as usual. <laughs> so it's pretty. It's pretty good at the moment. Yeah. But remember being here and the barricades taking off. We'd go to lunch and come back, and we'd have to go and rescue the barricades from yeah, the other they'd field. Rip, they'd rip the, It was so windy here. They'd rip the pegs out of the ground. <laughs> take off and then they'd go roll up the shade cloth. It was and over windy. the top of the shade cloth. <laughs> um, what opportunities does this role give you? For me, what I, what I, one of the, some of the things I like about uh, this is that you do get to go to different places and see Most different people. people and catch up with different people um, and well, we uh, see all different levels of play and yeah. learn from it as well. Um, going over to and refereeing in the uh, World Cup, yeah, uh, you know there was an opportunity that uh, we uh, that we grabbed a hold of, and um, you know and and uh, and head o headed over there, and uh, it was good to work with the Millennium referees and, and see different levels mm. of play and different um, you know in certainly in the Nations Cup and, and everything. And you know, the pretty size hardcore. of the tournament compared with anything yeah. we've ref before. When you've got 120 right. teams. Yeah, and then mm. you've got teams from, I don't know how many countries it was, it was a phenomenal amount of countries. Heaps. Yeah. yeah. And that uh, was different opportunity, yeah. It was a good opportunity. And, there, yeah. and, one of the, and that was also part of one of the challenges as well, doing that, that tournament oh. was like big. We had three, last day, one. three days. And 12 hour days. 12 hour days, and some were more than 12 hour yeah. days. Um, well, they were definitely more eight than 12. 8 o'clock to midnight. We started at 8. Yeah. Uh, 
first game was at eight o'clock in the morning. Last game was after midnight for me. Mm. Um, and um, then you pack up, go back to the hotel, and by the time you get to sleep, it's like one thirty in the morning, and you're up at six, six or whatever it was. Six thirty. To and do, do that for yeah. several days, and the yeah. intensity of um, at that level um, was pretty was pretty full on, pretty cool. But it was great. But then we also had the opportunity to have a great week afterwards to relax yeah. in a, in a foreign country and yeah. see what they had to offer. And it took yeah, a it was a good place. Yeah, that was a good. That was good. That was awesome. What sort of events do you look forward to and why? Um, I, sometimes I, enjoy, uh, I think I really enjoy sometimes uh, more events like this where it's new players and it's building it and um, they're learning them and it's a lot more relaxed atmosphere. Yeah. Um, they can be quite enjoyable and everyone has a great time. You know, there's people out here laughing and, mm. and that and there's no stress. Yeah. Things like that. They are, they are really enjoyable. Um, going to new places sometimes, I think that's yeah. pretty good if we get a new opportunity to go and ref somewhere mm. and help them out and get them started and things yeah. like that and the tournament scene, that's, that's pretty cool. Mm. At a, an event like, um, like we have here today in, um, in South Australia is, uh, is great. You know, there's, uh, there's a good community here, mm. you know, it's lots of fun, you know, it's, mm. it's quite relaxed as well. But um, the more, even the more intense tournaments that we go to, you know, I really relish in yeah. that as well. Because there's a, there's a the great challenge, challenge yeah. um, to it. And, uh, That's the level, yeah, you know, the different level that you've got Which drives you yeah. and, and, um, and oh. feeds you and makes you better. Mm. From your perspective as a referee, what are the three things you've learned to make a successful paintball team? Communication is key across the field. Oh, definitely. I think, um, yeah. to, and teamwork. Uh, teamwork, you gotta, yeah. You've got to work as a team across the field. You can have a team of superstars, or you can have a superstar team. A team of superstars will win. Um, the superstar team will yeah. win consistently, I think. I think um, trust. Trust in your teammates yeah. that they're going to do the job. Yeah. You know, trust that your front guy is going to pop up and make that move and, mm. and that your back guy is going to be making sure that no one's going up, running up and bunking you. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I think right. that's, that's a, a good, a vital thing in a yeah. team. Shoot straight, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gun skills. So gun skills. Guys, yeah, choose to yeah, use your yeah, gun, yeah, skills. Yeah, gun skills. Gun skills, teamwork. Yeah. Um, yeah. Communication. I think we've done more than three now. Yeah, we have, but, you know, there's two of us, so we yeah. get six. Six so between us, hey. <laughs> What three tips would you give to someone who wants to be a ref? Number one, read the rules. <laughs> You've got to understand the rules and know you the do. rules to be able to enforce the rules. You do. Rules always used to be two passed down yeah. through teams. Yeah. And, you know, this is what the rule is. That's but right. And, you know, sometimes there's misconceptions about that because um, there's an assumption uh, because you've played with the rules mm. for such a long time as a player that you go, oh, yeah, these are rules and nothing has changed. And, mm. and maybe something did change, but maybe that change was like two years ago yeah. and you might not have realised it as a player. Yeah. It's, and as I said, it's a learning experience. So, you know, if that person goes away and looks that rule up or, or comes to understand what that rule is, well, then they're better equipped to go play yeah. paintball. Yeah, um, that's true. And then, it, you know, they don't have to... You don't have to be worried about that type of stuff mm. anymore. You just you're better equipped to go out and play the ball that you need to do mm. because you know that these are the rent bounds at which you can operate. And uh, I can go out and, and this is what happens. Mm. And if I run that guy down and he spins on me, well, it's going to be a bad time for him. You've got to uh, you you've got to pay attention and you've got to have good concentration. Uh, if you're going over a multi-day tournament. Yeah. You gotta be well, you gotta be mentally not just physically strong, you gotta be mentally, mentally strong to be able to focus and um, and be able to concentrate for that long period of time with so much going mm. on. When the finals are on, we've gotta be at our best because the players mm. are playing the hardest that they're gonna play for the day. 
That's right. We're at our, you know, the most tired time of the day, you know, yeah. day or two days. We're still very capable and everything like that, but it's, um, you know, that's when we need to step yep. up and that's when, when our A game comes yep. into play and that's what um, experience mm. Um, brings you uh, is you know you've got to be the sharpest. Not mm. you know you've got you've got to make sure you, you bring your A game because you can bet in the finals or at the end <laughs> yeah, if it's a, yeah. if it's tournament without finals at the end. Yeah. those last games is where everyone's bringing their A game because everyone needs those points to, to come yeah. away the winner. And um, I want to be number one. Why not? It's yeah. a competition. Yeah, exactly. It's a competition. I think another thing is being um, being in front of the player. You always want to try and be in front of the player. So you can Definitely. see the paint going in. Because if you're standing behind a player, you know, you're not going to see the paint going in. Yep. So being in front and And and, and don't be and don't be scared to get into the field. And exactly. get in there yeah. and, and look at that. You know, you might Don't stand on the sideline and just call them out yeah. and tell them to play on. Yeah. You've got to have a look because you but, get in there and... That's right. So don't be... I, yeah. I think it's don't, don't be afraid because yeah. um, sometimes people, are, you know, they see all the paint, the wall of paint coming down yeah. and, um, you know, some people are a little bit reticent to uh, to get into that, into the field and into that stream. Is what you do fun or work? Is our last question. It's a bit of both. It's a bit. It is a bit of both. Um, it's you have to work at it, but it's still fun. Yeah. Uh, but it's hard work also. But that's the part of um, you know the the reason. Well, I suppose part of the reason why we keep going and doing what mm. we're doing, and the core of us is because we have fun. And even though it's hard work, it's worth it. Yeah. yeah. It is worth it. It's worthwhile work. It's good work. I like to think that it makes a difference.